Mike Richards, you guys, has lost another job. So he's been fired as Jeopardy's executive producer. Last week, Mike stepped down as the new host of Jeopardy. Now, after a series of scandals involving him came to light, now he also, as the show's executive producer, has lost that. A rep for the show said they had hoped that when Mike stepped down as host, it would have minimized the disruption in internal difficulties behind the scenes. But clearly, that has not happened. Another little tidbit of information. Apparently, according to a number of different sources in the New York Times, on August 19th, crew members confronted Mike about his past behavior and said it had impacted the show's reputation. They were not happy with him. And then he stepped down the, or he was let go the next day. Listen, I, I just yeah. want to clarify, be, be, say what you're going to say. Are we just talking about his comments from the podcast or were there other things that, that I missed? I, I assumed it was that's what the nexus of it was right but i don't know there might be other things ongoing i'm not sure if it's just from the comments on the podcast this is ridiculous but the i do have more to say remember the legal accusations of um but he was never convicted behavior, of behavior but there were settlements and apparently according to the crew erica they said his behavior past behavior was not uh healthy for the culture within their set in so many words what are well, you thinking I, I think that that's more substantial and holds more weight that you have people on set that feel that way and mm. have come together to say that. Um, I think that's really the reason why he's not there. When you're when you're in a position like that, you are in you are kind of the nucleus of the culture. When people's lives and livelihoods and career depend on you and your thoughts and feelings and how you move about the cabin. Um, that holds a great responsibility. Now, I agree, like the podcast comments, do they hold as much weight as some of the other allegations that people have been canceled for? I don't believe that they do, but ultimately it's about the culture on a set. And Jeopardy was like one of the least problematic programs in the history of television. So the idea that one person would be the genesis of all of these issues may mean that it was just time for him to go. It's just funny to me how it was okay when they were winning Emmys and he won an Emmy as executive producer, but now he can't be host or executive producer, which brings up my next point. I always make fun of people who talk about double jeopardy because they think they know the law, but they really saw the movie. Right. I'm gonna be one of those people right now. How many times do you want to be convicted of the same crime? If it was for the podcast comments, he was fired as host. So now his new job or his old job, he went back to as executive producer. Now he's fired twice for the same job. What's next? Can he have a, he is truly being canceled. We want to like sweeten it up with accountability culture. This is canceled and they're running him out. No one's going to hire this guy as executive producer of their show. And you're being canceled and for comments you made on a podcast. Every single person in this studio could be canceled right now for things that they said 20 years ago. But I agree with yeah. you with the comments on the podcast because the way we joke around with one another off camera, totally agree. And podcasts are supposed to be unfiltered. But let's remember there are a number of sexual harassment allegations, accusations that did get taken care of, so to speak. So we don't know the details to that. Perhaps that's part of it. Perhaps the crew, I mean, he'd only been there a year. He was right. the EP of Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. He lost both those gigs. Do we know if it's because of cancel culture or because he seriously is a jerk? We don't know, but. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that this is where we are. We don't know, so I feel uh, kind of hesitant to really comment on this, but it does seem like, it, you know, I, we're so quick to go after somebody that we think we can get, but Harvey Weinstein was in power for years. Imagine if we acted on real predators. I'm not saying that what he did isn't, isn't abhorrent, but there have been some people in power for a long time that we all know, and there have been rumors for a long time, that because they are so powerful, people back down. And so if what's good for the goose is good for the gander, and if this is what we're going to do, like I always say, pretty soon it's going to be somebody that yeah. you do care about. And it, it, I'm not saying that he shouldn't have been fired, but I'm just saying every decision we make as a people, as a culture, sets a precedent. So this is the precedent now. So if you've said anything in the past, can you defend Kevin Hart at this point? I certainly did from those, those I gotta tweets disagree 11 with you. years ago. I'm sorry, I got to disagree with you. If you said something on a podcast, I guarantee myself 
Erica, let's say you said something on a podcast that came back to haunt you. Myself, Erica, and Jeff, and I would probably beg to say all of our producers and everybody here would stand up for you and stand up for what a stand-up guy you are. How come no one's standing up for Mike Richards? That was the question I was asking earlier. Okay. All right, Erica. I, yeah. No, I We're mean, honestly, page, right? I, that, it, it was the question because it just reads to me, and this is taking a lot of liberties, but it reads to me that he wasn't someone who people felt like was a great leader or he wasn't someone that people felt like brought the teams to team together. And that little leakage of the story about what happened on August 19th, I think that people were looking for. So when this stuff started coming in, like this man's getting elevated, everybody's had that situation where somebody comes in and you're like, how did you get here and how are you going anywhere? You know, like, because they're just not a substantially great person and then all of a sudden comes out and every everybody's like I told you I knew it mm. that's what it sounds like to me interesting chime in DBL nation we always love to hear from you as well